What's up, everybody? A spare when I got in here from Sleepless Night Studios, and it is good to be back in the cockpit again. So, uh, hopefully, you guys got to see if everything goes well. That new flashy Matrixy intro that I uh, did recently over the over the sabbatical break thing. I've been working on that for a, a minute, and since I took a break, I was kind of wanting to do that. To, so that it would make the, you know, come back a bit more noticeable. Like, hey, we're kind of new schedule, new stuff, and things. Um, now, this particular episode, I don't know if there's going to be as much cutting and progress as I'd like there to be, given that I had just talked about um, uh, basically th thinning down my schedule so that I could do more focus stuff and what I'm working on like with um, elite space engineers stuff like that like I could get more progress done on each thing because I'm cutting down more of what I'm um, and, and focusing up on what I'm doing and that also gives me time to work on other projects but that said elite lately has kind of been a, a pseudo podcast kind of thing for me and so I may end up using this particular episode to talk about a bit more of some of the stuff that's been going on and how everything's going to go moving forward um I did take a mission, because it offered me three million. It's called Encounter Insurgency Surface Scan. I've never done one of these before, but I imagine it's about the same thing of you go and you scan things and then, you know, you leave. Probably going to be wanted afterwards since it's Counter Insurgents, um, but I don't know for sure. And I'm, I'm fairly positive that um, excess mass... Is this not where I've been going? No. Eight, eight. Do I have something in my inventory? I must have. Yep, I do. Alright, so we need to get rid of that. Um, but, as you might have noticed, all you eagle-eyed viewers out there, uh, my warrant officer rank is up to 100%, which means I believe I need to rank up and then we should be able to get um, a... I think it goes up to Ensign at that point, which is what we need, I think. Maybe? Possibly? Um, oh! Let's redeem all of these. I didn't know I had legacy finds. Let's get rid of that. Don't want to be wanted, after all. <laughs> um, do I have anything else? Oh, my. Yeah, I don't really want to... Uh, that's, 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 that's fine. Um, search and rescue. I don't have any of this stuff. Never found anything. Ah, come on, you get Right at the top. I was looking for that. Couldn't figure out where it was. Uh, there we go. Okay. So let's get rid of that. And then we should be able... There we go. Now we can go there. Cool beans. Alright, so I don't have... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't have a, uh, a rank up mission yet, which is odd. Because I had 100% on my warrant officer rank yesterday because I logged in and did a bunch of donation missions until I got to 100%. Um, so I figured with enough time and resets and things like that, it would, um, you know, it would give me what I needed. But apparently not. So, yeah, I don't know... I don't know why I don't have a mission already because I actually did do some relogging. Um, where, like, you just log in, check the missions, switch back to a uh, open play or whatever. Um, I did that a few times, actually, and I still never ran across, um, an upgrade mission. So I'm not really sure why, unless it's just something to do with that station, maybe? I'm not really sure. So, but I, as you can probably deduce from the last episode, which... I mean, kudos to you if you remember what happened in the last episode, because I don't. Um, or money-wise, what I was at. But I'm down to 30 million now. <laughs> down. I know. Uh, but I did have to do a lot of donating, because I wasn't doing any other missions. And does it already know where I'm going, or do I have to find out? I think I have to find out. Crud. Um... Commander, we're receiving reports of unauthorized transmissions being sent out from another planet. Yeah, track it down. Thanks. Already know that. That's what you paid me for. Uh, of course it's on the other side of the sun. Why wouldn't it be on the other side of the sun? Um, 
star, excuse me. So, yeah. So I'm trying to rank up. Um, if, if I can get a rank up mission and get that out of the way, I might go ahead and try and get my new gunship this episode. Possibly. I'm hopeful. Again, um, for those of you that may not know, I was trying to do all of my episodes within two to three days out of the week and the rest of the time work on projects like my novel and website building and 3D stuff and Dog Squad and all those types of projects. It wasn't really working that well, so that's why at the uh, when I took my break, um, not only because of bed bugs and my dog having a sore and all those other things, which was pretty much a large contributing factor to that, but I just kind of took it as an opportunity of since I had a break, reassess my schedule, what am I doing? Now, there is one caveat to the new schedule, and that's that I'm not sure about what the fourth thing is going to be, ultimately. Um, we're keeping the Elite Dangerous series, obviously. The Space Engineers Let's Play is going to stay. The Space Engineers Inspiration series isn't going anywhere. Um, the bigger question is what the fourth thing is going to be. Now... I have said my my thoughts on it were either doing a Programming 102 series in Space Engineers, but that wouldn't be regularly weekly content. That would just be whenever I get a script done and get the video filmed. Um, the other option I thought of was an Imperion Inspiration series because I've looked at the workshop a few times and they've got some cool stuff. Like, they really do. Like, there, there's some... I think it's because Imperion naturally has some more interior detail blocks that Space Engineers doesn't have. Um, and so I think that adds some of the uh, uniqueness or, or coolness, if you want to put it that way. Um, and so I thought of doing that one. Now, I hadn't, believe it or not, this might come as a shock to most people, but believe it or not, I hadn't actually considered just keeping the Imperion Let's Play, which at the moment is kind of a creative ship building thing, but it, it was just one of those I hadn't really actually thought of keeping that for some reason. I don't really know why. It just never really occurred. I think part of it is, I, I mentioned this before in my update channel for those of you that watched it, um, I'm really trying to balance two different avenues at the moment, which is I've, I've basically come to the conclusion that YouTube is not going to be a career type thing. It's not going to be one of those where you go viral, you get millions of subscribers, and then you're paying the bills with it. It's going to be an advertising platform for other projects we're doing. It's going to be stuff for fun and entertaining and a hobby and things like that. But it won't actually be, it can't actually be my primary focus anymore in terms of paying the bills and, you know, getting by. Like, I, I was trying it, I was experimenting with it, and I'm dubbing it in that aspect, you know, a failure. Uh, or not a failure, just it's it's not performing well enough. And and that's that's kind of a, a harsh, just blunt statement, but it's the truth. It's, it's just one of those that it's just not going to end up do, I mean, it might, but it'll be years from now, not like now. Um, and I'm not getting any younger. So that's why I've decided that, like, I'm trying to focus more on my book and other things is because I'd like to do other... I, I really want to keep the, the, the company of, like, Sleepless Night Studios going as my primary. I don't really want to go work for someone else. I'd really like to do my own production company kind of thing. Uh, but when you're doing something like that, you need something to pay the bills and you need something to produce. So, hence the novel stuff and Dog Squad and eventually, probably in the next couple of years, trying to shift, shift a little bit and focus on making a game, things like that. Uh, projects that I can eventually sell and it can support and do and etc. and so on. So, yeah. Um, where am I going here, guys? There we go. I was looking for my search point. I was like, uh, where am I going? So, with that in mind, though, I also recognize that a large portion, because that's all I've been doing at the moment, of why anybody knows about the brand and things like that has been due to YouTube stuff. And so it's been, it's kind of one of those where I'm going into, yeah, crud came in too steep. I'm talking, I wasn't paying attention. 
Um, so it, it kind of bo for me boiled down to I need to do something. I need to focus on something other than making YouTube content as the primary. But I can't just discontinue that altogether. Um, because it's like for selling a book. It's really nice thinking that there's close to 10,000 people that even if they don't pick up your book would know about it because they they saw that you posted a video about it, you know. Um, and that is really crazy to me that even though I've been doing YouTube for a while now, it still kind of boggles my mind that I'm up to close to 10,000 subscribers. It's, it's really nuts to me. Um, so, yeah, with that in mind, even if it's nothing more than just an advertisement platform, I want to keep it going and I want to keep everybody here. And so it's kind of one of those you kind of have to, you know, play both ends against the middle type of thing in a way because it's like, you know, you, you need to keep doing some of the things that you did that entice people in the first place type of thing. Um while also trying to maintain a new schedule and focal point. If that makes any sense. I hope I'm making sense to everybody. <laughs> um, it makes sense in my noggin, but that doesn't really mean a lot sometimes. So, that's in case anyone was wondering, that's part of the driving factor behind the, um, the discussion of, of changing my schedule up and, and cutting some series and things, is so I can give myself more time to focus on the bigger project things that I think will ultimately end up being kind of the future of the of what I want to do. Because um, I need to really be focused on kind of what am I doing and where is it going. Um, but with that said, as I said, I can't in good conscience or just it's not a smart move. It's just I'm not doing any Let's Play things ever again and the Space Engineers Inspiration series is just gone because I'm going to focus on a pottery course you know what i mean <laughs> like it, it, it's it's dumb not to recognize what has done well basically um but in the same breath i do i do kind of want to focus on some i'm keep so i'm keeping like elite and space engineers and things like that uh but i would like to kind of shift away from some of the let's play type content and work on a bit more um not scripted necessarily, but like, uh, that's the best way I know to describe it, but basically like a, um, a stylized and like created content rather than just kind of like winging it content, if that makes sense. Which is, to me, Let's Plays, that's basically all there are. Like right now I'm just talking while I'm playing a game. It's, it's not really like uh, a game review where you've got montage footage and, uh, you know, it's, it's not like some kind of things like that that are more produced content, if that makes sense. I'm not sure that I'm using the right terminology, but I hope it, I hope the point is getting across, at least. Um, and, uh, so, kind of like the Inspiration series is probably a good example that it's not really like a Let's Play, but it's not really scripted either. It's not like Dog Squad and stuff like that. But I do want to do more Dog Squad. In fact, um, Caden Red Pearl and I had a phone call the other day where we were kind of trying to get with each other on when we would have, when we'd both have opening time periods that would kind of overlap type of thing so that we could actually uh, finish up the audio and stuff like that and get to work on um, kind of doing more with that because it. it it frustrates me to no end to think that Yeda came out sometime, like, almost a year ago or more. Oh, wrong button. S still haven't gotten used to the buttons set up on this. Um, but yeah, it frustrates me to no end to think that Yeda is over a year old now, or close to it, and the second season of Dog Squad still hasn't moved forward. And so with Dog Squad, there's only been like five episodes in like two two and a half years or something that's pitiful to me it it, it really burns my biscuits kind of thing um so yeah that's something that i hope i hope i hope i hope i hope i hope to remedy yep 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 wrong button there we go i hit the wrong button for my uh handbrake is what happened there in case anyone was wondering um so yeah that that's the kind of stuff that i would like to 
do more of. Um, and I really hope that excites everybody. I would hate it to be like, you know, I want to do more of this, and then everyone's like, uh... <laughs> you know, I, I don't... I don't think that's what everybody would be saying. But it would it would be a little it would be a little sad if that's how everybody was thinking. Um Yeah, how do I get this beacon thing to turn on? Oh that's good. There's like a uh a gun turret right here. Come on, give me a beacon. Um Okay, this has happened to me before, by the way. It says active data point, but then it won't let me... Oh, there it goes. It's just being stupid, I guess. Whee! Uh-oh, uh-oh, too fast, too fast. We're gonna, we're gonna fishtail. Don't fishtail. I wonder if you can, uh, I wonder if they've ever thought about doing something where you can upgrade your SRV shields and weapons and stuff like that. I wonder if they'll do that eventually. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of stuff that's been rattling around in my, in my brain. And like I said, I didn't really take a huge amount of time in my update videos because I was talking more about my personal stuff that was going on and what was keeping me from doing episodes and things. So this was kind of my first outing back into recording again and so that's why I was trying to kind of let everybody know that uh, this episode may not be as much progress as I would like it to be and as much as I kind of was implying when I was like we're gonna take some time and focus on uh, what's actually important so we can get more done in each episode I, I do intend to do that but this particular one since I'm kind of just kind of getting back in and explaining how things are going uh, might be an exception to that rule and maybe by the next episode if we don't get it get to it in at this point um we may end up doing next episode being a bit more um polished and you know like cutting out a bunch of fluff stuff um let's see i think we're just going back now right Oh, at first I thought it was saying I didn't have... I had excess mass to get back to New Sing. I was like, ah? What? Um, so with that said, I have not actually committed yet to uh, what I want to do for the fourth episode. If I'm going to just keep the Imperion Let's Play, if I'm going to do a Inspiration Series, if we're going to do a program... Like, I haven't actually fully committed yet. I didn't really get as much feedback on that as I was actually hoping for. Um, in my update video, it was more like, I mean, I appreciated it, but it was more like, you know, sorry about your bed bugs and the dog stuff and things, that sucks. Um, but I was kind of hoping some people would make, would kind of jump in and, and voice their opinions a bit more. So if you have an opinion on which one of those you'd prefer, do feel free to let me know. Um, and since the, um, keeping the... Imperion Let's Play is on the table, I'm kind of expecting more people to say that one, and it might be what I go with. I might just go with Elite Space Engineers Imperion and then do a Space Engineers Inspiration Series. That, that, that might not work, or that might not be a bad thing. And, um, so it's, it's quite possible that if, uh, if I don't hear more on that topic, I may end up just doing that and seeing how it goes for a bit. And still play around with the idea of maybe changing it later. Uh, it's the nice thing about YouTube, from week to week, I can always make a change in between there if I hear back and decide, you know what, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, but, for those of you that don't know, I was trying to record all of my stuff within two to three days a week, so that was three to four episodes a day on whatever days I was recording, which was a lot. So by cutting it down to four, um, I'm going to be doing two and two every week, which will give me more time in those days to work on those two things, but also not affect my other days where I'm working on other projects like my book and things. Um, that will probably alter my release schedule, 
as well, considering that I've cut back on the amounts of things. So tentatively, at least for this week, as I said, I'm still playing with it. You guys are going to have to give me some wiggle room and voice your opinions. Um, if you don't like something, let me know. Constructive criticism-wise, not just, this sucks. That's, that's not helpful, but um, helpful criticism. So what I'm thinking is, as you can tell, Tuesday is still going to be elite, um, and I will probably do Space Engineers on Thursday for this week. Uh, if I keep the Imperion Let's Play, I may flip-flop them a little bit, but for now, since I don't really know what's going on for the next couple weeks, I'll probably keep it this way, just to see what everybody thinks. Uh, but I'll probably do Space Engineers on Thursday for now, and then whatever the Imperion programming inspiration series is going to be will be Saturday, and then the Space Engineers inspiration series will stay on Sunday, as it always has been. Um, and that the reason I did it that way is because it kind of gives me a little bit of an alternating release schedule to where it's still kind of balanced. Like, you have Saturday, Sunday, nothing Monday, Tuesday, nothing Wednesday, Thursday, nothing Friday, and then you have Saturday, Sunday again. So it kind of balanced out to where it's the same every week. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then, of course, I always like the idea of a lot of people don't have fun on Monday being like the first day back to work. So I always liked the idea of airing stuff like Dog Squad and things on Mondays because I felt like it was kind of like you could come home from work and if you like the series, if you don't, it doesn't really help you that much. But if you do like the series, then it would be like, uh, rough day, oh cool, there's a new episode, you know, that type of thing. So... I'm not really leaving Monday free because of that. It just worked out that way because I'm going to be recording these episodes on Monday and Friday. So I can't have them coming out on Monday because it would be like 10 o'clock at night by the time I recorded both, edited, rendered, etc. So yeah, Mondays probably won't be anything, but when Dog Squad and stuff is done, that's probably the, ep the day that those will air, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. But as far as a regular schedule and for my daily, or for my, yeah, my weekly content and things, I'd probably be Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday, Sunday. Um, the big, the big question is what is on what days? Like I said, if I keep the Imperion Let's Play, then I may end up, like, next week or something doing that on Thursday, and that way the Space Engineers is, is kind of kept to the weekend, kind of like it was before. Um... But let me know what you guys think about all that. That's I'm open to feedback on all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, as for um, as for the back behind the scenes backstory, uh, the behind the scenes stuff. Why can't I? Oh, that's contacts. There we go. Um, as for the behind the scenes stuff, um, the dog seems to be fine so far. So good. Uh, knock on wood, good lord willing, etc. and so on. Um, I really am starting to wonder. I don't know for sure. The vet even said that it was unlikely. The pest guy said it's not usual, etc. But I really am wondering if his sores were coming from bed bug bites and that he was itching them and biting them and it made them inflamed and, and so on. I really am wondering if that's what happened because um, a lot of stuff lines up. The timeline lines up when he started having these and when we think we've got the infestation thing. Um, also, on Orkin's site, which is who we went through to get rid of them, um, it does mention how to identify them on pets, so it's not unheard of for them to bite pets, it's just unusual. Uh, and one of the big things was check their bedding, and he sleeps on the same couch a lot of times that they found uh, bugs in. Um, so, there's that. I'm still doing the whole paranoia thing of I feel like everything is out to get me and biting and itching and etc and so on. We have had to have them come out a couple of times, like since the last video I put up. Actually, it was um, the day before Thanksgiving we actually had to have them come back out because we found a few more. And so they came out and like re-sprayed re again. I had to take my dog over to my brother's house and stuff again. It was not fun, but it was better than thinking we still had bed bugs. So... It's not over, apparently, or at least I'm not counting it as being over yet, because I'm I'm kind of in the mode of, at the moment of kind of like, I'll believe it when I see it, or rather when I don't see it, kind of thing. Um, like, I'll believe it when I stop having any inclination that they're here for, like, months. Then it'll probably be like, ah, okay, they're finally gone, you know, that type of thing. Uh, but I'm not 
really too keen on letting my guard down at this point. Um, though, we haven't had anything too crazy. You know, there wasn't a bunch of... Uh, there wasn't a bunch everywhere and always or whatnot and so on. But it just... It's, it's been, and, and even the pest guys said it was one of those that um, they deal more with probably the psychological issues um, than, than they do with actual ones. Uh, because everybody always ends up paranoid, and I'm like, yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. It happens a lot to me, often. Um, so anyways, so we, we're doing better. It is improving, you know, kind of one of those, even if they keep having to come out and spray, we're finding less and less of them or something like that. So it's it's one of those, it, it isn't getting any worse than it was the first time we had to deal with it. So there's that. So it's all, it can always be worse and it is getting better. Um, I just don't think I'm ready to let my guard down yet and say we're totally fine because it, it just, I, they're supposed to be coming back out in like a 30 day window to confirm and make sure they don't find any and blah, 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 blah. And they've been really nice about it as far as, you know, we call them, we're like, Hey, we found one. They're like, okay, we'll be over and, you know, fix it. So, um, I don't, on a completely side note, I don't know why I'm not getting an upgrade mission. Let me go ahead and do some relogging real quick and see if I can reset it now that we did a mission and I got the rep system flowing again and let's see maybe it's because this station is like in turmoil or whatever because uh, they seem all the missions seem to have like the stop insurrections and things like that so let me just play around with this a minute and see if I can't figure out what's going on okay so I did find another one I did find a mission uh, it's a courier mission to Lebedev, which is obviously very difficult for me. Um, oh, right. I re-logged in here and I didn't realize that I was still not in Super Cruise. Um, yeah, I had to, I was I was actually recording this and I had to cut a part out because I realized that I had um, music playing in the background from when I was just skipping through and re-logging and just doing some flying and stuff like that. Uh, and so it was being recorded as I was talking. I was like, oh crap. So, uh, I had to cut a part out. But no, I'm not just cutting and doing transitions because I wanted to show off my new, you know, transition artwork elite stuff either. Because I, I also reworked that too. Um, not just my intro and outro logo. Um, so, yeah, as far as the, as far as the, the bed bug stuff and things go, it's like, it's, I'm not really ready to consider us done. But out of the rough part of the woods, yeah. I mean, at this point, it's one of those, if they have to come back and spray, they have to come back and spray. But we've got the the big, like, you know, they're not just running amok. We, we've got the, the most of it taken care of. So now it's just getting, you know, any little stragglers and whatever else they missed the first time kind of thing. Um, the, the real problem for me, like the real difficult part, is when they use the really strong stuff, which I tell, I'm like, yeah, use that kind of thing. They, they told me that, well, you don't have to leave the house um, if you want to just, like, take the dog upstairs, but we can't use the other thing. I'm like, no, 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 no. Use, you know, I'm like, nuke it. Use flamethrowers. I don't care. Um, so the hard part is my dog, for those of you that may not be aware, some of you might be, I don't talk about it a ton, but I have mentioned it before. He is a Siberian Husky who his grandmother, my mother, babies him like a baby and has fed him stuff and things. I mean, everybody feeds him. He's cute. He's adorable. Uh, but he's, he's a little chunky at this point. Um, I'm not a super athletic person. So I probably don't do as much exercise as he really should have. I mean, he, he's fine, like he's gets energy and stuff, and he is eight now, so he's not a spring chicken, and he can't do as much as he could when he was two. But, you know, he, he still likes his walks and stuff like that, and likes to run around and play. But I don't, I, I, I knew a guy, a friend of, uh, a friend of my brother's who, um, well, it was one of his friends of friends of friends things, but anyways, uh, they, they had a husky, and he ran or jogged with his husky two miles in the morning and two miles at night. And I'm like, that's, um, that's a lot of miles. Um, 
and uh, that's that's about uh, four too many for me. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not delusional enough to think that you know mine's getting as much exercise as he probably should get. Um, but when people just feed him goodie bones and stuff and treats and things all the time, it's not helping anything. Um, so you know he's he's a little chunky. Wait, am I not close enough? Oh, kilometers. Okay, I was looking at my my um, altitude. Not, I was, not yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, anyways, so he's a little he's a little hefty. Um, I think the last time I took him to the vet and they weighed him, they put him at 83, I think. Which is for any of you that have dealt with huskies before. That's it's, 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 it's a little. It's, I mean, he's not like obese or anything, but he's a little he's a little heavy. Um, so, and he hates riding in the car. So, when they tell me to take him somewhere, that's not fun for me. Um, it's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Now, thankfully, my brother and his wife have been super accommodating in that, like, I called him the day before Thanksgiving and was like, hey, can I just bring him over and sit at your house all day? And they were like, yeah, sure, it's fine. You know, it wasn't like, uh, we have stuff going on and we're, you know. So, yeah, it, it was it was nice of them. Um, but, so that's really the big inconvenience. As far as everything else, we're past the, uh, you know, empty your closets and, and uh, throw everything you own in the dryer kind of thing and zip seal everything up. And, you know, we're past all of the initial main tear your house apart moment. Um, but... So it's kind of one of those, like, you know, it, it, if you have to, you have to, but, uh, and we may not at this point, it, we might be good enough along that we're, we're good to go, but I'm just suspicious and paranoid at this point, so, you know. Alright, we got promoted to Ensign. That's what we wanted. So this episode is getting a little long, but we've done that before, and like I said, this episode is a little bit gonna be a, a wee bit different. Just in that it's the first one of me coming back, I had to explain about the new schedule, I had to explain about, you know, the behind-the-scenes stuff, etc. and so on. Um, now, my thing is, I'd like to go back to Shinrada. Um, I go back there to buy all my ships and things just because I know that some places ha do have other discount things, like Shinrada. Um, but, is this alphabetized? That would be cool. Um, there we go. Plot, a, plot me a course. Um, but the the thing with um, Shinrada is that they have all the parts, uh, and all of the parts are discounted too. So that's that's the thing. Um, what is? Why can't I? Move? There we go. I'm not used to using mouse controls, and I still have never set up the, uh, the, um, controller controls again. Oh, that's cool! They're starting to do the fuel star thing now! I forgot they did that! Last chance to scoop fuel. Though, actually, I don't have a fuel scoop, so I kind of need to make sure that I'm going to civilization. So let's just keep an eye on that, I guess. And I'm going to head back to Shinrata, I think, after I double-check that Ensign is what I needed. I'm pretty sure it is. And we'll see about getting our new ship. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we actually got it. We're here. We got a federal gunship. This thing actually, like, cockpit even looks mean. And for once, I'm really, really glad there's no, like, visibar down the middle of my view. That's really cool. I like that. Um, now, before I actually sold my Fertilance, I went through the outfitting part and stripped a, mun a bunch of the main components, all the good stuff, out of the, out of the ship. Um, and actually we made money. I went, I, I gained like nine million the way that I did it. So that was cool. Um, we don't have as many utility ports here, so that's something I got to keep in mind. But first, I want to check the core stuff. So there's a few things like, um, let's see, can I transfer? Is that the way this works? Yeah. So six A will bump up the power. Transfer to ship. 
Uh, transfer fee. So I guess this puts the 6E in my stored kind of thing. So I'll have to go through my stored ones and see if I can sell them. Now there's some things like this. This is a 6E thruster, but I had 5 A's. And so I'm not sure... It's kind of one of those, like, it might not be the best to do overall. It does cut the mass down, which is interesting because it seems to be telling me it's going up. Weird. Oh, it's probably the actual amount of thrust you're getting because it's going down a class. Hmm. So I don't know if that's actually better or not. So some of these... Uh, it's kind of the discrepancy between the... Like, this raises the top speed. What about jump range? Where's the jump range listed? Does it show? Oh, there it is, down at the bottom. So it does actually go up. It's just the mass, power draw, all that stuff, and the fuel per jump goes down. So we're going to go with that for now. Uh, and I did it particularly just because... Um... No, not store. Oh! Did I not take the... No, I didn't, because it was a 4E. It was a basic life support. And, like, the power distributor, I don't know, being a 7, if that's going to be... The power draw is higher, but everything else goes up, so we'll do it for now. So this may not be, like, the max of, like, this is how I want the ship set up. Um, no, not that. Uh, and I don't think I took the fuel tank, because it was a smaller fuel tank, so that's fine. The optionals, I think we did a little bit better. Ooh, can I put two? That would be funny. Uh, wait a minute. Did I not take the shields? Or Oh, it can only have one. That's probably all it is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 5A. Is this better? Power draw is higher. Optimal hull. But max shield strength goes up. So we'll do that for now. Again... Uh, we'll, we'll have some upgrade room, but I also figured that way we could sell, um, the other ones to, uh, swap, oh, that just swaps out the cargo rack, uh, I don't have anything there, discovery scanner, empty military compartment, what is this, hull reinforcement, module reinforcement, shield cell bank, huh, never heard of a military compartment thing. Okay, now I had... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Where did it go? Uh, transfer. I had... Docking computer is one. But I also had, um... What am I switching out? The discovery scanner? Yeah, we don't need that. I had my... My, um... Thing. My, my stuff and things. You know what I'm talking about. No, um, I had a uh, planetary. Like a SRV. Is that not an optional? It should have been. It's not in core. Huh. Hold up. This is intriguing. This is very intriguing because it should have had... Alright, I'm gonna fumble about with this because this episode is getting really long. Okay, so I know this episode is getting pretty long, but... Like I said, this is a weird one, so you're just going to have to bear with, bear with me a minute. Um, so I think I've got our shiny new ship all set up the way that I want, I think. I had to do some power adjustment, but I haven't done this in a while, but I think I'm reading this correctly, that um, like if I switched something really high, like the shield generator, one is right there and four is on the back end. So we should be fine, because I set four to be stuff like the planetary hangar, the cargo hatch, uh, docking computer, things that I'm not going to be using in combat and everything else that's vital is. Um, now, as for what I have it set up on, I'd like everybody's opinion, because I set it up the way I figured would be best, but I don't really know. Yeah, I kind of, uh, kind of painted it already with my skull and stuff <laughs> emblems. I think it ended up pretty cool. Um, they did add this, which I have not been used to, and I don't know what the empty bay is from, unless I, unless it's just because I only had one 
Scarab, and I can have two, I guess. But I changed it to Black Pearl Mark II with an ID of SKS FG for Federal Gunship, because I figured why not. Um, all this other stuff I don't have any stuff to do, sadly. Um, and I didn't really have anything to do with the other ships for paint jobs and things like that. Hard points! I made a beam laser, the large one. I kept my four multi-cannons from the Fertilance and then two pulse lasers. Now, I could set these to beam or something else, but I figured the pulse ones were fine since they're just small. So, I figured between the two pulses and the large beam one, it would do, you know, kind of, kind of balance out and you can keep the smaller chain guns. For utility mount, I have two shield boosters. Might be overkill, I'm not sure yet, with a heat sink launcher and the warrant scanner. I was going to put a chaff in here. Uh, but I figured with, I have a shield cell bank, and it's probably a good idea to have a heat sink with the shield cell thing. So, that's what I did. For the core, um, I couldn't really afford much. I thought about reinforcing this, but I'd like to just save up and do the military grade composite. I think that would be best. Um, because, and in case anyone was wondering, I say that because the other ones have a give and take. Some are more thermal, some are more kinetic. And the military grade just increases the hull by, you know, a margin. So I think I like that one the best. Put a 6A power plant and thrusters. Now, the thrusters is a spot I'm not sure if I need to do that strong of one or not. Um, I never quite seem to get it back down to a low, like, below the minimum power thing deployed just from that. So I don't know that it's worth it to lose some of the thrust. So I just figured go with the big one. Uh, frame shift went with the highest I could. Life support I left at 5e because I rarely have to actually use it for anything. Power, uh, power distributor went all the way up. Sensors I left fine because that's just range adjustment and the fuel tank I didn't mess with. I don't think I really can. Uh, for the optional... This is where things got a little sticky. I did the fighter hanger because um, it let me have two fighters which I thought was cool. Uh, shields I maxed out. I put the shield cell bank up here because it let me do a 5. Um, if I used the military compartments, it could only go up to a 4, which was better for power and heat and stuff, but didn't really do as much. So I put two hull reinforcement, one module reinforcement down here. We have the planetary thing, standard docking computer. I did put a planetary vehicle hanger in this slot. I downgraded from my class 4 because this doesn't have any class 4s. I was having to play around with the slots a little bit. It has two 6s, a 5, and then two 2s, and then three military ones, but I couldn't put a hanger there. So I downgraded from a 4 that let me do two scarabs to one because I really only ever use the one anyway. Um, so then I put the 5A shield cell here. And as I said, um, I'm not sure if I should have gone lower, if that would bring the power and thermal stuff down, but, you know, it doesn't seem to do that that much by just some of those stats there. So that's what I've got so far. Um, I kind of wanted to take it out for a test flight, and we might do just that, because I'd like to see how she flies. Um... And then I'll probably just turn around and dock here again and then fly back out. And actually, since we're kind of done with the at, at the uh, rep grinding for a minute, we don't really have to go back to Musing and all those. Um, because, you know, we're, we're kind of done with trying to build up our reputation and stuff. Oh, it sounds cool, though. It actually turns and stuff pretty good. Its speed is a little on the sluggish side, but that's kind of to be expected. It's a basically a... F I basically went to a flying tank just now. And this is with everything in engines. I will say having the 6A thrusters does seem that maneuverability is still pretty good for its overall tankiness. But speed, yeah, I mean, my top speed before... Let's do a boost. I guess that's not that bad. It boosted up to a, a 300 speed. That's pretty good. And it's coasting pretty nice. Are we outside of the fire zone? No fire zone entered. I don't think we have left it yet. There we go. No fire zone left. Alright. Okay, let's double check and make sure. So planetary hangar turned off. 
cargo hatch turned off, standard docking computer turned off. Everything else looks good, so we should be pretty solid. So we have our beam laser there, and oh my! With everything into weapons and systems, um, like that's a steady fire. Holy crap! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. The amount of. Wait, are these pulse lasers not gimbaled? If those aren't gimbaled, we gotta fix that. I don't think they are, because it doesn't have the little gimbal icon next to it. That's. that's bad. So then I have, um,. We have our uh, scanner and our beam lasers on this setting because I always like being able to fire. Um, this is our main attack mode and then we've got the shield cells and the heat sink set to fire at the same time so that I don't have to figure out which is which and all that stuff. Uh, that was kind of what I was thinking anyway. So we should be able to toggle back and forth in the moment and then we can switch over and scan and switch back so it should work out okay. Uh, now, without everything in the engines, it actually turns and moves pretty good, but speed is abysmal. Um, so that's something that, in terms of pursuits, I don't think we're going to do too well at. In terms of tanking and just taking a beating and giving a beating, we'll probably be fine. Um, oh, I'm way too far out for that. So, yeah, with everything turned... Yeah, I need to fix my weapons, though, because those those fixed ones not being gimbaled is something I cannot abide. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. We're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.